what's in here? Take this. Oh, TC's locked. Nope. Grab these little bits and pieces. There is a supermarket or something over there. That's good to know. What you got for me? Hey. Alright, okay. Shit. Right, alright. We'll take this bad boy over. Have I got a code lock? Crafting it. Nice. Anything in these boxes? Nope. Right. Nice. Okay. Got th that's actually wipe that. Put that on. Not actually hit a metal or node yet. Not a big deal. Don't really not not really that bothered. Let's do up this base a little bit. All right. Let's sit up over here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to what is, I guess, a really random kind of solo series. Basically, what I'm going to be doing today is trying to go from a rock, which is what I have here, if I click on the fucking right button, to a satchel raid, basically. I'm going to go try and go satchel raid. Maybe if we can find some um, other stuff. There's the rope we needed. If we can find some other stuff, like C4 and crap, then we will be going for a C4 raid. Otherwise, it's going to be a satchel raid, and I'm hopefully going to try and get a load of loot. So, might as well see how this goes. We've joined late wipe. Don't really do that very often. I normally love to play wipe day more than anything. But that being said, I think Rust at the minute is a really nice place to be able to do a nice late wipe start. So the server still has around about 100 out of 200 people on it. So we're hopefully going to be able to get a nice going here. It's Saturday night. Things are a little quiet. It is like 1 in the morning or something. Uh, no, it's 12, in the, uh, 12 at night here. So hopefully we should be good. I've taken over that base as you just saw. I've never actually been to whatever the hell this is. Is this like some sort of gas station? Supermarket. This is a supermarket suit. Fuck, it says right there, supermarket, Elliot. There you go. So I've seen that you can get food boxes around here. So I'll grab these, get up to full health and stuff. And I have seen that you can actually get some boxes in here. Am I, oh, that door's open though. That does, and there's nothing in here. Right. That doesn't fill me with confidence. That being said, I'm sure there's a recycler up top, right? I'm sure there is. So, like I say, my plan is not on this one. Right, okay. So I'm sure, the, I bet the recycler's then only at the gas station. No biggie, we'll have to just go somewhere else, but I'll grab as many barrels as I can, there is a road just there, and then we'll move on. As you guys have seen, I've been playing some trio survival recently, like some wooden door here, that could be worth raiding actually. Wall's a bit damaged, that's random. Um, I've been playing some... Whoa. Obviously that's out of bullets. Could have died there, that could have been curtains right there, right, okay. Um, I could have died right there. Beautiful. As you've seen, I've seen I've been playing some trio survival recently, so it's been a bit different. I'm back to the solo grind. We're gonna try and see what we can do here. Is this a oh there is a recycler here? That is right, brilliant. I'm sure you guys are probably spamming the comments saying that oh there's a recycler. Oh no, I need that, I need that, I need that. We'll drop that in. Probably spam in the comments saying, oh there's a recycler here. Don't worry, I found it. Do not worry. We're gonna hit that road and try and get some more components as well. See if oh, there's a guy there. Oh, I'm here. Why did I go into that fucking menu? Why, why, why is that a thing? See, the problem with joining late wipe on a server this populated is there's just so many bases everywhere. It makes it really bloody tricky to sort of find an area where you feel confident farming, but I found a couple of nodes around here, so I'm gonna grab them. My issue is I like really wanna get like just metal and stone, but these sulfur nodes, the whole idea of this jumping on right now in this wipe is to get sulfur and to be able to do a raid. So I'm gonna need to be able to get all of these sulfur nodes whenever I can. That's the big issue right now. Managed to craft myself a pickaxe. All of these bases could be raidable, like this here. This is like I don't know, I'd need probably eight satchels. I think for any raid right now, we're gonna need eight satchels. I don't really think there's any alternative to it. So we're gonna need at least eight pieces of rope. I've got four or five right now. So we're gonna need to hit the road up a little bit, hit a load of barrels, which is fine. Hopefully we can try and get some armor as quickly as possible. I should probably not be farming right now. I should probably be getting those barrels. But at the same time, I just, all I want is to try and hit these, hit a good farm going, get a really nice little sesh, and be able to get enough stuff to be able to do a nice raid. I've already got, look at that, 2k and over a k metal. I want, like I said earlier, I want to try and get my whole little house metaled up. 
make that safe and I'm just going to try and hit all of the nodes around here. This is sort of edge of the map style. If I can keep quiet over here and no one really bother me, then that's the best thing for me. A little base down here, look at this. Could have, like, taken this. Oh! You are my door now. Alright, we'll finish off these foundations to stone. Managed to make the walls metal so far. Get those to stone. I just, I'm not too fussy about, like, making this base, like, completely branched out. But I'd like to make sure it's secure. So if we make that stone, that gives us a good airlock. And I have, if I get enough wood out of here, enough stuff for a metal door. Sick. Right, okay. If I get enough uh, frags, I can make a code lock. Thing is, we really need rope. We really need components and things so we can manage to get these satchels off the ground. So I'm going to try and hit this. The problem I've built in this area is it's very high populated. So try and get this. I need to get a second furnace on the go as well. Is that an animal in there? No, it's a rock. All right. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, rope. Yes. That seems to be the rope barrel. I've got like four pieces of rope from that bad boy. But you can't recycle rad pills. That's good to know. That's good to know. Well, there's a guy. Hide away. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, Ripperonies, man. All right. We haven't quite had the rub of the green yet in terms of PvP and ability, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm surprised we haven't come up against anybody with like an AK or anything yet, because obviously this is three days into the wipe. I'm not that bothered though. Really, all I'm after is metal blades and pipes so that we can try and get ourselves a salvage pick so that we can get more sulfur and stuff faster and everything. And then other than that, I just want rope. That's, oh, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There we go. I I'm actually really tempted. I'm just going to take this back. I'm getting these last couple of barrels and then I'm going. I'm very close to another furnace as well. That's a big thing. If we can get another furnace down, I'll be very happy. Right. I'm going to go farming now, I think. Try and get some nodes. I really want to go to that raid, but all I've got is a bow. So I've I haven't actually found like all of this stuff I've managed to get now. And I haven't actually found a semi-body yet. <sighs> I've died almost every time I've gone near the supermarket. So that is like a death wish. So I'm probably going to stay away from there. Also, guys, I don't know if you saw, if any of you are on Twitter, A, follow me on Twitter, um, you should, but B, Helk tweeted out, a, well, not Helk, actually, it was the, like, Rust Updates tweet feed, Twitter feed, whereby um, components are actually going to be changing soon to some sort of progression-based gameplay, whereby we have a mixture of um, components and blueprints, I think. That's the plan. If I... If you haven't seen it, make sure you go and check out that Twitter. It's really interesting to sort of have a look at those Rust updates. Otherwise, that's sort of the thing. It's going to be like a mixture progression-based, try and make servers last longer. What do you guys think to that? And I think this progression-based system could be really good for the game. Really make it last longer. Servers die way, way, way too fast. If we can try and make that drag out a little bit longer, it could be really good for the gameplay in total. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below if that is something you're interested in, making sure that the game lasts longer. I think the servers die way too fast and it would be interesting to see what you guys think. A lot of you watched my recent podcast and left a lot of comments, so thank you guys for that. All I need is that rope, but at the same time the sulfur is so imperative to be able to raid. Right, this base actually looks as though it has been raided. I've just crafted myself a uh, building plan so I can have a quick check. Could be... Like, there could be some loot in it. Get that done. We got. What are we looking at? All right. So they seem to have just knocked through the ladder hatch. If they have raided it, that's the front door, because that's backwards there. So that means that's the loot room. So that could be worth four satchels. Actually, could be worth four satchels. We'll see. I'll try and get the four satchels, and then it all comes down to like how much we value them and how hard it was to get them. But there is like three sulfur nodes around here, so we'll see. I must say, getting these components. Oh, finally, at three pieces of road sign. That's like my first pieces of road sign. The um, getting components and stuff is very, very satisfying. It really is. I really do enjoy it. When you find something good, it does fill you with a lot of glee and excitement.
Nice. There are just so many, like, semi-raided bases, look, that haven't been completed or have been completed and then someone's thrown a door on. That could be a one that's thrown a door on, but these could be worthwhile raids. It's just so tricky to work out, isn't it? Alright. Fuck this guy's body go. <laughs> Can't see a bloody badger out here, eh? Oh shit, he's pretty stacked. Okay, nice. Oh, that's stone though. Bring yourself oh, another bit of rope. Right, really nice that. Taming a guy, there he goes. Suck a dick. Vladimir Putin, didn't he kill me earlier? Yeah, we need uh, both wood and sulfur. We need sulfur bad, really, to be able to raid. Okay, guys, so I've just spent literally like 40 bloody minutes crafting eight satchels and this little set of gear. I don't have any leather, so I can't craft any uh, road sign stuff, which is really bloody annoying. But we've managed to get eight satchels, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them over in a, sa in a uh, little satchel small stash thing, hide them away, and then I'm going to do this raid like two at a time, because the area is so busy, I don't want to risk this shit. So let's... Yeah, I can't craft any more... Uh, meds because I'm out of low grade. I've got no more leather. So yeah, fudge it. Let's go Is oh there's somebody's bag here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Hide six of those In there because this area is so bloody busy. I do not want to risk losing them And then I've got the wood and the bits and pieces back at base what The fuck? Well, I fucked that apparently. What the hell? You can't pick them back up. Please, dud. Please, dud. What the hell happened there? I haven't the foggiest idea what the hell happened there. Guys, can somebody explain? That has never happened before. I didn't bring a door actually. Before I throw that last one on, I'm gonna go grab a door. Successfully wasted one bloody satchel there. If somebody could explain what I did wrong there, all I did was click the normal button and for some reason it fucked up. That is the most annoying thing. That's like, I don't know, four bean cans, six, 12, 240 gunpowder. So annoying, man. So bloody annoying. I don't know what I did wrong. All right. Let's just have a little inspection and then we're gonna go back and get the rest. Fucking shotgun traps. The hell? It's fucking open? I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be open. I was expecting another bloody thing, which is why I crafted the eight. The hell? There's not even somebody in here. No way. Has this not been raided? Why the hell is there not a double door here? What the fuck? Alright, I'll take those fucking metal frags, I suppose. Like... We needed GPs, that's pretty good. No, GP, um, charcoal. Shit, okay. Uh, 1853 revolvers. We needed that. Leather, that's what we needed to get some road sign going. This is actually looking really fucking good, guys. I needed that for some. Because, uh, to be honest, I was going to go off after this raid, but if this turns out to be like a good half decent raid and we get some half decent sulfur, then maybe I'll stay on. I haven't yet decided, but we've already pretty stacked and there's still three fucking chests? Fuck, okay, okay, there's fucking thousand sulfur right there, 160 more GP, loads more charcoal, fucking hell, 96 low grade wood, bloody hell, it is fucking 10 past 2 in the morning, Jesus Christ. Gears, you know what? I'm dead tempted to keep this base as my, f as my own. Oh shit. Fucking sulfur and stone for days, boys. Sulfur and stone for bloody days. What we got in here? Rad suit so we can hit the rad towns properly. Road sign kill. Let's get that bad boy on. Get a hoodie on. Actually, did he have? Oh shit! Fucking meds and everything. This is awesome. I'm I'm really bloody surprised. A that I got into this base in one go, and B that we got all of this bloody loot. Look at this shit. Right. Okay. I think. First port of call. I don't really know actually. I don't need. Right, okay. I don't know if I want to take it to my own base or live in this one. 
I might steal this base. I think if I destroy this, have I got a hatchet? No, have you got a hatchet, Mr. Man? You have not. Right, I'm going to destroy this bag with this salvage cleaver. And then maybe I think I might pick through that. I might have to go hit some trees and get a little bit of wood. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to try and get a double door on here. Let's get cracking. Now if this just goes to a ladder hatch, I'm going to be thoroughly, thoroughly saddened because this whole raiding situation, crafting the eight satchels and picking through this, has literally taken like a two hours just to craft shit and pick. This is madness. Rust is such in a weird place right now. Please do not go to a ladder hatch. Please, right now. Okay. Stairs. Guy. In wood armor. Another door to pick through, but this is the guy. Shit, okay, semi-rifle, Tommy, rifle body, some fucking metal armor, sick, and a P2. Alright, fuck it, I'll take that, I'll take that, to be honest. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that. Yeah, I'll take that, actually, that is not all that bad, actually. Not all that bad at all. Um, sack that off, grab that. Just kill that guy. I'll throw the double doors on here and this code lock that I crafted and then that makes this 100% my base. I'm probably going to pick through that at a later time, that door up there and I guess the big thing is now move my loot into here because there's obviously so much more room in here than my base. It's pretty much just as safe as mine. I need to just know the foundations are all good and I guess we just go and uh, raid again. So yeah guys, I'm probably going to end, I think I'm going to end today's video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Naked to a Satchel Raid. I've not really done that sort of thing before. I've done like a Satchel Raid on Wipe Day. I've never sort of Naked to Satchel Raid mid-wipe. It's been really fucking fun. I've really enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. What I think I'm going to do, it is currently 2.31 in the morning. But what I think I'm going to do is stay on here right now and keep going. I think it's going to be pretty fucking good. I'm going to try and do either another satchel raid or a C4 raid. I don't know. Please drop a like on the video if that is something you're interested in. That'll be the next episode. Leave me a comment. Let me know on the answers to the questions I've asked you and what you thought of today's episode. And most of all, guys, have an awesome day. I hope you all do. There's a guy outside my base I'm going to go kill. And I'll catch you all in the next video. You Stay